what's up you guys welcome back to another video it's been a while since i've been on the channel you know kind of kind of letting this grow out now things have changed you know it's the new room and setup tour october 2023 i'm filming this on september 30th but it's not going to be out until like somewhere in october i'm actually editing in premiere pro maybe because i have access to it at school and we're allowed to use it for other stuff so anyway let's get into it All right, so entering the room, as you can see, things are different. I don't know if I've done a room and set of tours since when I had the rug, but the rug's gone, you know. Got the desk and everything over here. But uh, yeah, here's my bed. We got Tara sleep in there, uh, you know, the window. Uh, the TV setup's over here. I was watching some Family Guy on YouTube, because why not? Got the antenna up there, my drawers and everything. We got my MacBook Pro, which works now. Uh, this uh, HP laptop that's actually running a um linux distro called pair os it's running pair os monterey i used to actually run this on my like old ass laptop i had that one that was a fake macbook air i got my toshiba one over there too this whole area is kind of a mess and the other nightstand but yeah and then you know my ipad mini 2 you know, this thing's actually um, a Wi-Fi plus cellular one, and I got the iCloud lock removed from it by reaching out to Apple. It was originally bypassed. I had just did the iCloud bypass with Sliver. Works. That iPad still works really well on iOS 12. I got a lot of jailbreak tweaks on it. Yeah, and then we walk over here. That's just some trash. I'm still cleaning up some stuff. We got, like, my... We got my shelf thingy with all my, like, cool drink cans and stuff. I gotta go through the ones that I have duplicates of and then pick the worst ones out of the duplicates and throw those ones out well recycle them of course and then we got my ipod dock here with my new replacement first gen ipod touch because i had to get a whole new one um yeah this one's an eight gigabyte first gen ipod touch on white door six because this is the one uh white door operating system that still looks like classic ios but also i figured out how to set the wallpaper because i can't figure out white door five just at all and it's even got the Reminders app. Hold on, let me scratch my face a little bit. Yeah, the Reminders app. And this isn't even actually the Reminders app. This is um, this is a actual just like custom one for uh, White Door. Yeah, so this thing, I use it as an alarm too. Because I have my iPod dock at night. And then we've got my like, this is my lamp. So let's just go here. And you can actually hear what I wake up to. But it actually plays out a little bit louder through the iPod speaker. Yeah, this thing works great. These things don't have volume buttons, though. That's my only gripe with these, is the no volume buttons. I can't use my headphones to control the volume, which sucks. I, didn't, I don't think that it was a thing until the third gen. Because I know in two, it was around 2009 when Apple devices started allowing you to control volume through the headphone jack. Got some extra AirPods here. These are my second gen AirPods with the wireless charging case. These are only really used for my ipad mini my first gen airpods pro with a knockoff apple charging case they have my second gen airpods pro medium ear tips on here because i gotta get new ear tips i'm gonna get just like two sets of memory foam medium size ones i'll just get like one of those two packs like with uh two of each size for um airpods pro second and first gen yeah, this is a different kind of third party case because this one's got the ring around the charging port which is weird because my old one didn't have that it was just a hole and this actually works with the second gen AirPods Pro. I am thinking about buying that newer version because here are my second gen ones right here. I've had these since December, but they have the larger ear tips on them. But they have like a third party AirPods charging case now for the AirPods Pro that has the same kind of hinge. Because if you look at the hinge on this one, it's um, more reminiscent of the second and first gen AirPods where like, you know, it opens like that. As you can see, it opens like the second and first gen and then the way the AirPods Pro 1 and 2 open is a little bit different. So, yeah, the new version opens like the actual ones. They had that first with the AirPods 3rd Gen replacement charging cases. Also, the new versions have the button on the back. They still don't, of course, have the... Um, they, they don't have the same high-quality LED. It's still just the generic one. But, yeah, no, these actually work with AirPods Pro 2 because I tested mine. Honestly, that ring around the port feels a little cold, so it might actually be metal. Um, yeah, that's my wallet. This is my iPod case. This when I got an iPod Touch second gen, but the second gen iPod Touch didn't work, so I just stuck my first gen in here. There's still a cutout for the volume buttons, but you know, 
I sometimes clip this on my pants if I'm using my iPod, my um, PS4 DualShock 4 controller. I might actually get a red camo shell to put on here, and I'll put this. It, it comes with the buttons and everything, and I might actually just put this shell on my uh, camo one, my green camo one, since I don't use that one that often. And then this was my main controller, so that's why I wanted to customize that one. And then up here, we got some, like, iPhones and stuff. So, you know, my iPhone SE, which is in a black frame, and it has an iPhone 8 screen on it. Yeah, this thing doesn't work anymore. Well, at least, it, if I put a battery in there, it'll at least boot up if I plug it into a charger. I just don't have volume and power buttons because my motherboard's broken. My iPhone 8, you know, my old phone. And uh, here, we'll actually go to the um, go to the camera. I'm filming on what looks like an iPhone 11, but it's actually my 10R in a custom housing, which um, that video should be out around the same time as this one. Uh, we've got the actual iPhone 11. I had to pull parts from this. It has a dead logic board. And then my iPhone XR's old frame with the screen that it came with when I got the phone. Because I was actually originally going to fix the phone for someone. And then I ended up giving them my iPhone 7. And they had two XR's. So they let me keep the one I, the, the one I was going to fix. So, you know, I got, I got a phone. I got a nice upgrade. But yeah, no, we got the alarm clock speaker. I only really use it as a lamp now. And to see the time, we got the cat food. We'll actually come over here to the desk setup. As you can see, I got my iPod dock here with the second gen iPod touch. That LCD damage and the crack in the digitizer is my fault. I was trying to open it up to see why it wouldn't turn on. Roded logic board. Tried cleaning it, didn't work. Yeah, I'm just using that 2003 30-pin dock. I'm surprised that I have one of the, the 2003 ones. And then my old first-gen iPod Touch that doesn't have a battery in it. It's on iPhone OS 1.1.5, so if I ever find someone who could solder in a new battery and maybe even fix the, fault, the power button... I actually will have one on 1.1.5. I've got my new monitor, my laptop is back there, and then my controllers. And then this is just, the you know, the TV area. We've got, like, my PS3 and PS4, extra PS4 controller. Uh, a Yellow Light of Death PS3. That's a backwards compatible one. This is the CECH uh, E01. And uh, it's one. I think it's one of the final variations of the PS3 Fat that could play PS2 games. So fun fact, this PS3, mine, the uh, Super Slim, was the final variation of the PS3. But like all other PS3 models, this one can still play PS1 discs. I played South Park Rally on here. It works even with third-party controllers. That PS3, because this was someone else's, and I I was trying to retrieve the, the South Park game for them. And um, I tried playing my PS2 game I had on it with my PS5 controller I used to have. It wouldn't work. It doesn't like third-party games for PS2 games, but PS1 games, it could care less, which is weird. I don't understand that, but, you know, you want either a 6-axis or a DualShock 3, because originally there wasn't a DualShock 3, 6-axis only, so there's no rumble, but yeah. Anyway, that's about it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and whatever. Peace. She asked what I really do, girl, I'll tell you about it.